I want to show you how you can change the default working days and times. So for example, the default is Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. You can see we're on a Friday, and there's 8. It's not shaded. So when I scroll up, well, before 8 it's shaded. Those are non-working times. And so if I want to go ahead and say, okay, our working days are Monday through Thursday because we have a 4 on, 3 off, and the working times begin at 7.30 instead of 8. In any case, go ahead and change all that. Come up here on the Home tab, go to the Arrange group, click on its expandable dialog box button to get the calendar options. There you go, Outlook options. You could have gone backstage and clicked on File and went down to Options. When you did that, you'd have to select Calendar for the category. In any case, it does it for us here, since we're in the Calendar view and we expanded the dialog box. So with it selected, you can see the work time. There's the defaults, 8 to 5. So let's go ahead and change that and say we want to come in earlier, like 7.30 a.m., or you could get persnickety and do 7.31 a.m. Oh, that's just too crazy. Let's just do 7.30. And then click on the drop down arrow and say we're going to leave earlier as well, like at 4.30 p.m. Then the work week is Monday through, not Friday, but Monday through Thursday. And then the first day of the week, well, it could be Monday. Maybe it's not Sunday for you. And then the first week of the year, I'm going to go with starting on January the 1st. Click OK. And if it doesn't automatically update as it's not doing it for me here, like I said, I kind of have issues with Outlook here on my computer because I really haven't cleaned it up. I do one install on top of another. That's a whole other separate issue. So let me go ahead and just refresh it by going out to another folder, like the mail folder, then going back to the calendar and going back to yesterday. Yeah, I'm working on a Saturday. In any case, Friday, and you can see, wow, everything's shaded. Why? Because this is a non-working day. So if I go back to the day before, Thursday, Okay, it is a working day, but remember, we said that we're going to be coming in at 7.30 for the working hours instead of 8. So it's shaded down to 7.30, and then from 7.30 to 8, it's not shaded, and it goes all the way down to 4.30 right there. Cool. And so there's the changes there. Let's come up here to the range group and go to the work week, and our work week is Monday through Thursday. Four on, three off. What about the regular week? Starts with a Sunday? No, because we changed it, and that our week is going to begin on a Monday and end on a Sunday. So there's the change there. And then, of course, you have your month view. And I want to show you that you can actually add holidays to your calendar, in this case for the United States. I'll go over that in just a second. But let's go back to our day view because, remember, we had it in half-hour increments, like from 12 to 12.30 to 1. You can change all that by coming up here, clicking on the View tab, going to the Current View group, clicking on View Settings, and then select Other Settings, and there it is, the time scale. It's in half hour increments. So you can change that and say, ooh, I want it in five. Now let's do 15. Five would be too annoying for me. And click OK, click OK. And it updated. So Thursday, let's go ahead and just scroll down to a, a working time here. Well, it's got it selected. You can go ahead and click up here. So we come in at 7.30, and then it's every 15 minutes. So there's 7.30 to 7.45, then to 8, 8 to 8.15. To 8.30 to 8.45, 9, and so on. So you can go ahead and schedule your meetings and appointments in increments of 15 minutes or block it out in increments of 15 minutes. And then finally, if you want to be able to install, let's go to the month view, the holidays for like the United States or for Uruguay or Europe or whatever country you're in, and then just come up here. Let's go to the, well, you can do it on the Home tab because you get the Arrange group there to expand it. Or if you're on the View tab, you also get the Arrangement group that you can expand that. And it brings up the same window, the Options window to the Calendar category. And what we want to do is go down to Calendar Options to go on Holiday and click on Add Holidays. And then choose your country. You can choose more than one if you'd like because it does earmark those holidays. This says United States for Easter. I'll just do one, click OK. But because I already installed it, it says, do you want to do it again? No. So I'll click Cancel, but after you click OK, it'll install it, and then tag it. So like St. Patty's Day, double-click. Location is the United States. I don't know other countries that celebrate St. Patrick's Day, except I think it's uh, Ireland. They might do that. If it's done on the same day, then they can go ahead and choose their country, and it'll show the location for Ireland. Let me go ahead and close out. And then to reset all this, which is what I'm going to do, I'm not going to leave it as is. Just go ahead and go to the Home tab. Let's do that, or the View tab. Go to the Arrange group, expand it, and go ahead and change it back to the way it was. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, beginning on a Sunday. And you don't need to see this. This is just my beef. 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.